everyone, and welcome to one of the Stock Swiss Show Plays of the Day here. This is Finnell, F-I-N-L. A nice bearish gap here in the Finnell. It worked, and it didn't look like it was going to work at one point because it was taking forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and then it went. Sometimes you have to be patient. It's really something that I don't like about trading, but <laughs> sometimes you have to do it. So here's the five-minute stock open rally. Held 27, which was good. This bar looked really, 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 really good. If you did this, stop was big. Then it rallied up, and it wasn't looking so great, and then it fixed itself pretty quickly. That I liked. That I liked. Here's the resistance. Broke. Called a trade in this in here. Rally called a trade in this in here. Dropped. Drop, 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 and went down to basically 25 bucks or within 14 pennies, and it's trying to get down again. This will make another new loan today. Uh, I don't know if anyone is still in this at all, but if this breaks 25, I, this could go, this could go. I mean, this stock normally moves about the extension that it has on the day, which is two, two and a half, three dollars on a good solid day, which on a bearish gap day, it should run. The rally was big. This, this tail looks crappy, but that's what you see here on this 15 minute. See that that's what this is over here. And that's just the way of the look. But finally, after it broke 26, it was good to go. And it worked. So nice bearish gap on the fennel. And actually today everything worked. It was one of those days where you could have done everything. Typically I like to focus on one thing in the morning, but really everything worked today. And this was uh, nice. And it's still working here. And it's following through into the next major reversal time, which is 3 o'clock. I don't see any reason why this won't break 25 now. Uh, and so if you're still in some of this, hold it down to the break of 25 into 3 o'clock if you can. Strange that this will be going this late in a Friday, but the selling is in now. This has set itself for the day. It will close looking similar to this or larger on the day. It will close with the topping tail and it will close with the red body. And this is completely 100% on its own. This has nothing to do with the market today. The stock broke today and worked well and just took a long time to get going. Usually I like to trade and be done quickly, 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 but this thing just took a long, 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 long time. But it worked. Sometimes you have to hold it, stay with it, have the conviction. That's why your risk has to be in accordance with what you set it to be. If you risk too much, you'll, you'll give up on it too soon, and it may not be doing anything wrong, then go on to work. So that's why you have to risk what you, what you are okay with risking in, the, in what you take in the trade. You have to take the risk and actually put the stop in, and let it ride out. Unless you have to go somewhere or be somewhere or can't sit and watch your trade. I mean, I don't like to leave uh, the house when I'm in a trade. I just don't do that. I think I did it like once in the last year. But for the most part, you really got to watch what's going on. So this was a nice fennel. If it breaks 25 and hits anywhere in the 24th, this thing could rock and roll in the next 45 minutes. This is a nice look to it. Follow through may even come into this on Monday. We'll have to watch for continuation gap. It's going to depend really on where it goes today and where it closes, though, to be honest with you. But seeing some nice follow-through on things lately, really good follow-through in things lately. In fact, I'm going to talk about that, I think, in the Stock Switch Show Live Trading Room on Monday when I've gone back and looked at some of the things we did even two weeks ago. The follow-through, they were great swing trades. So, you know, there's some nice potential in this funnel to follow through today. This is one of the Stock Switch Show calls today. This, this was one of the top-rated gaps today. It's going to break a new low here into 215, follow it through, and uh, just follow it into the next major reversal time is my suggestion if anyone is still in this here in this trade. It did end up having a big stop. It got tighter and tighter as each setup hit, and then now this has paid the risk to reward. And it even had places to ads. I think it was aggressive today to do ads in this, but if you did it, whether you lowered the stop where the next setup was or did the ad, either way, this is a good risk to reward it now. It, 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 has, it has paid. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested, the next Golden Gap class is this weekend. The train for the fall earnings season. Saturday and Sunday, the 27th and 28th. Deadline is today at 5 o'clock, though, if you want to sign up. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everybody.